All right, let's try to load this and see if it doesn't break. All right, Clavicus Vile is the Daedric <laughs> Prince of Cliches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, he's pretty pretty cliche. Do this thing, or do this other thing. Igrod Ravencrone is a cool old lady. <laughs> and it, I was surprised <clears throat> they had the big setup for Clavicus, and then the payoff was, you know, dog or axe kind of thing. You know, like a mask or axe, I guess. Because they both they both suck. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know it. And again, because they have their own area and there's the big statue and all that, I was like, and it's kind of isolated. I was like, that's kind of a perfect place for a little faction to crop up, maybe. But then I was like, what would they do? Like, what would their hook be? Aside from just being like, oh, I'm the tricky, evil betrayer guy. Ha ha ha. Like, that's just not, that's not compelling necessarily, right? For, for fiction. Like, oh, uh, backstabbing jerk. Cool. Like, <laughs> wow, I haven't seen those before. Right. Uh, it's peaceful to get back in here. I hope it's not super glitchy. I turned on, turned off some stuff, but uh, hopefully the frame rate will be better. It'll be less jumpy. Look, Squizzard breaking and entering. How could he? How dare you? Oh, yep, it's there a... we go. <laughs> now you guys can finally hear that. You can see why we were getting all worked up. I hope it's not super. Right. <laughs> Ear bleed causing and all that. What the hell was that? That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you. No, that it was me that time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it was the other time. I was trying to imitate it. We'll find out. I can't. I can't. I literally can't see what it could have possibly been. If you're looking to do things for me, you should do things for me. I'm a quest giver. Do things for me. Right. <laughs> so I think, yeah, as we as we were uh, getting to our little discussion before, before the game decided to do its thing, mm -hmm. it was about the fact that... Whoa. Uh, whoa, <laughs> oh boy. We're <laughs> dangerously. The, uh, the Dungeons & Dragons kind of model of, you know, quest givers and adventure starting... Uh, it, it's great to see the proliferation of, of what essentially was the D&D model into so many different forms, right? You have the Elder Scrolls, you have World of Warcraft. You know, this tabletop game became all these different computer games. Fantastic. Uh, but one thing that, that's consistently surprised me is this really kind of... Uh... I'm sorry to distract you. <laughs> oh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. There you go. That's that's exactly you know this kind of generic quest giver thing. It's it's interesting to see that um, you know so many games kind of have defaulted to that where there's just some random person that would have no <laughs> no way of, of no reason to give you a concussion while you're doing that <laughs> or have your <laughs> they said what are you doing that for? I don't. I wasn't listening to any of you. I win. Right. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's kind of like the uh, oh, you're so special. You're the chosen one. You're the this. You're the that. Um. So it's it it. It's not only oh. I think oh. I made. I think I made it where I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> I think you're not supposed to be out here. This is the fake world. Right. right? I think <laughs> you just got the game stable, and we're about to see what happens when you push your luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Where that goes, yeah, looks good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tree. yeah. That, uh, yep. And there's that. Uh, I love Skyrim. It's a beautiful world. Well, I mean, this is this is always done on purpose. This is uh, the only reason this part exists is to give the illusion. No, I mean, I, I love the world Wait. of Skyrim. It's just so beautiful to be here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this saves on resources because you couldn't see this. Oh, right, but um, yeah, it it just still surprises me that so many games. I think The Witcher really departed from that to a certain degree, uh, but because you know, Geralt has a reputation, so it makes sense that people might trouble him with uh, relatively uh, 
unique dialogue options that wouldn't be there for just like some rando wandering swordsman dude, right? He's the, the whole thing is his, his reputation, his persona, his guild, if you want to call it that. But in some of the other games, it really is. There's just, oh, there's an old man at the at the inn that wants to give you XYZ for no apparent reason. Uh, Going back to the real it, world. It's funny how this... <laughs> the yeah, Black Riders are assholes, every single one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind the fact that you have, you know, groups in there that, that have a certain a certain flavor, a certain feel that's consistent with their faction, even if they're jerks, right? That's that's fine. Uh, Yikes, you know, the fest. There's something about dragon racism. <laughs> I was thinking more like more like the uh, you know the black buyers are are essentially just organized crime. Are they the same with the the bootleggers that rose to power during prohibition? So yeah, it, it, it makes sense. Uh, and besides, there are you know in, in real life there are all kinds of uh, groups you know the, the, oh. that come together. You have OPEC and oh, very very drag, very dark souls. They're nice. Yeah, uh, I think that's literally what it's based off of. <laughs> yeah, you have cartels that come together to kind of, you know, force prices and eliminate competition and all that stuff. So that, that's a very real-world thing to happen. But, like, yeah, it, it, it's just funny that... Um, and that is one of the challenges, of course, of having uh, a video game as opposed to tabletop, where, you know, the players the player can make anything, and yet uh, you still have to set up a situation where... If you want to offer a quest and you want to have a cohesive storyline to it, you, it's like, like, well, how can I make this intro as generic as possible to give the player as much optionality as possible to their build? Oh, yeah, light them up. Yeah. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't blocking that. Whoa. That was cool. I love no, when I, that I know, happens because like... it looks so, like, artistic when they die like that, like Shakespearean. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right, you need the, uh... That was less Shakespearean. <laughs> <laughs> this is too high class, get the hell out of here. Right? Um, New Elder Gleam Yeah, yeah interestingly, oh, interestingly wow. enough, uh, did, did you ever play Divinity Original Sin 2? A New Elder Gleam was... A, I don't know what that is. Is that part of your mod or oh, something that's... else? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Indeed it is. Uh-huh. I see. I, so, I heard you're a modder. Question. <laughs> what, what what day is it? This this actually this is really important. What day is it? If you just hit tab to see what what day it is going on here, it is Sundots. the twenty six. Okay, they're they're not going to be here. Twenty four. Uh, the druids less. wander around the area based on the uh, the day of the month, so there's a rotation they go through. Uh... Whoa. What's going on here? Ah, I can't move. The, uh, ah. That was the uh, Nord, Nord ability. That's, that's not me. Uh, oh. You're getting, ah. getting stabbed in the back. I can't move. Oh, you're stuck? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's try to pop a menu or something. Oh, you know what? Uh, check your active magic effects. There you, you, I think you're, oh, you're paralyzed from that. Wow, yeah, I was paralyzed from, from fear. That's cool. I don't know why that. That's crazy. Wow. So given that guy, the shout wasn't me, but that was pretty cool. A new flavor. Oh, I'm out of magic. I didn't think you were a pretty face. I just have an arrow going for my skull. It's like glowing. It's gone now. It's probably added to my inventory. So I was saying that uh, Divinity actually does a great job of having very tailored storylines so long as uh, you pick like one of the pre-gen characters. And yeah, you know, there's a certain amount of leeway you have with each, but each has their own unique storyline. And therefore, there are, there are certain there are, certain stories can only be opened if you pick a certain combination of skills and, and uh, if you're using a certain character. Oh, shit. Uh, I find that really interesting. Uh, they seem to use a all the potions. Now, I guess, would you... I don't like walling off content from people. Like, I find that really irritating. Uh, even in this game, where... Oh, like, you vampires. can't go into certain areas unless you start, like, a civil war quest or whatever. They're just... They're, wow, they're strong. Like, you, it's... Oh, they can't get hurt by my frost? Oh, shit. 
Well, it's, if it's a vampire, yeah, they're, they're going to have frost resist. Especially if she's a Nord, then she'll have like 100% between the vampires. Yeah, they resisted and it and completely. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, wow. That's a black hole. Uh, yeah, accretion disk. Nice. That is freaking awesome. That's that's gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to admire the black hole. <laughs> look at somebody hiding in the bushes with a warhammer, trying to bash my skull at three in the morning. Right, God. Damn, I'm, I'm trying to look at the bl the giant black hole that would be tearing us apart if it was that close. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no joke. It's just so behind the mountain. Your, your your position on that, like like, would you like? I I hate it when the contents fall off, or like there are certain there are certain levels in this game that that are that you literally can't go into until you start the Civil War quest, until you start the Dragonborn quest, uh, something, and then like this, you know, the the uh, barrier that walls you that, that walls off the level disappears, and you can somehow magically go in there now. Like I, I find that kind yeah, of yeah, like the cave the but, cave just somehow unblocks itself. Yeah. Right. 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 So I, I'm a big fan of like. I'd love to have levels open so you can actually you can still go and beat the boss, but then like only have the the option of the storyline to go with it uh, if you happen to meet certain criteria. But like I, I'd hate to be walled off from it. I, I don't know if you have an opinion on that. Like like do you do you find it? Does it make it more compelling think, for you? I think to the better really way value? to wall off content if you don't want people doing it is just to have the NPC not be there because they wouldn't be there because it's not their time to be there. Like, you know, like, instead of just making a giant wall between you and them, make you be able to go in a place and look around, but the NPC just doesn't happen to be there at that time, because mm -hmm. it's not time for them to be there. So, so more just, like, completely uh, story and world-driven, but n none of that hard barrier stuff where it's like... Yeah, uh... yeah, like, you can obviously have bosses, if it wouldn't make sense to them for not, not to be there, if they always have to be there, and you can just go, and they'll be there. Oh, a skeleton. How scary. Right, <laughs> I, I considered getting a mod to give him like ten times the health, but it still wouldn't have done much. It, it just it, it would have just made them meat shields. Who's right. that? Oh shit! Oh! Oh boy! <laughs> I went I went from killing the the meat shields to becoming the meat wolf. Protect right. me! Yeah. Wolf, help me! <laughs> right. I like look how I walk. I look like I just got something in my pants. <laughs> Well, I guess maybe the tail makes it uncomfortable to wear normal human trousers. I don't know. Who are you? I don't know if you want to ask that because they're probably going to turn around and kill you, right? Where? Um, Ow! That didn't do much, but like it we were looked saying. painful. Am I just running through dangerous area again by accident? Uh, well, you're going down into that area with all the hot springs That's uh, that's got all the undead, but it's also where the Elder Green Druids are based. So, is that, uh, but, and that, or is that, that eventually leads to Windhelm, right? So, huh. it's a log. Oh shit! Oh boy! Oh wow! Never been happier. Oh, to the see afflicted, you. they're out. Oh boy! Oh, I guess. I... <laughs> oh, that was that was sad. They were they were making the last stand. They made the last stand of an army of them. That right. is a story. That's a story right there, created by accident. They made the last stand with their the last swing of their blade that they could manage. With their last step, they killed the assailant before dying amongst their comrades. Wow. Now that That is an awesome emergent kind of story. Anyway, bye. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we just admire this? Oh, shit. It's GTFO. <laughs> I'll come back and paint a portrait later. Right. <laughs> I'll t I'll write stories of you. Right. <laughs> no, but so so. Oh my god! Example, <laughs> right? I, I applaud you for your brave choice of incredibly uh, high enemy threat level slash population mods you've cobbled I together. I think I there. I think uh, I, I think it's two mods in particular that that can replace random like animal spawns as well as prey. Like, Predator and Prey spawns can be replaced of random enemies, almost, so it makes it look like Skyrim's more occupied without doing too much crazy stuff. Oh, that would totally do it. Oh, that's yeah. that, that. I have two mods that do it, that are doing that for different things, so that's why that's what's going on, partially. It makes it look like there's stories going on. Oh. And honestly, thank God you also have the, uh, the mods on there to keep the Predators at bay. So you're not... Well, I think that's because of the, the the starting thing with the 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 perk I got that makes like animals not attack me. Oh shit, right, they're coming! Right. Uh, I have no time. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, safe travels to you too. Bye. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's someone there. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> I feel bad for them, kind of. See, that goat right there could have been, like, a, a very strong vampire guy. So. Good goat could have been 17 dragons for the... Uh, yeah. I don't think it can be that, but, yeah, good example. Right. <laughs> this whole area looks foggy. Smoky, almost. It generally is, but... Uh, it looks smokier. It, yeah, it might be a little thicker right now. I don't know if it's the weather back. that you're experiencing right now. Are these guys still chasing me? Oh, God, there's a dragon. <gasps> oh, already. shit! Oh, right. no, you, you, did, you did dragon rising. Yeah, you're... <laughs> oh, shit! I'm not prepared. Wolves, you know what to do. <laughs> there's a mammoth on the road. Is that the road, or is that the... Am I going to the... God, I am not prepared to fight a dragon right now. You like, can I continue north. You'll eventually get up towards Windhelm. <clears throat> and there will be guards there that can, at the very least, distract you while you dive into the city. Oh, shit. But, it's yeah, an assassin. You're sandwich like crap. <laughs> They're going to fight each other, at least. Okay, the giant might do something to them, too. You know, honestly, I was really kind of surprised. Oh, the giant and the mammoth. Oh, my God, this is a fight. <laughs> Oh my god, they're... Oh, they're wrecking them. Nice. I lo oh, shit. Oh, crap. Is that, the, that is the immortal... I guess they're not hostile for some... Yeah, I don't know. They're not starting reason. discussion. Um, okay, cool. Follow me, dude. You're my follower now. Light him up. <laughs> He's just my follower. Since Lydia's still knocked out seeing stars. Huh? What's going on? What do you see? What do you see, There's boy? Sick him! Right? Sick him! <laughs> Sick him, boy! <laughs> he is very quietly approaching combat. What is going on? What do you see? I don't see anything. He's very tactfully going at it, whatever he sees. He's just sidestepping. I think he's trying to intimidate them with a dance. What is going on here? I don't know if you're... Maybe maybe you just got knocked on the head by a giant earlier or something. What is this, Conjurer? Yeah. Uh, huh. This is a good example. Like, uh, there are all these little tiny hamlets around Skyrim. I mean, not the, not the, the actual... <laughs> yeah, quote-unquote, cities are very big. But uh, I always wish there were, I don't know, more... More interesting things to do in the little tiny hamlets. Those that's why. Hills, that's uh, why I love them. modding. They have lots of mods for that. I considered that's getting a, a mod that was um, to make Skyrim look more retro. I thought that would have been a cool look, but I also thought it wouldn't be too fun to look at for a long series. I'd say it would look more like you know Nintendo sixty four something like, like that. Like how like um. Not like that, but like that's that's a different uh, like. There's there's mods that make the textures look that way, but it's like a basically a, uh, uh, shit. There's he is again after me, um. But uh, basically to uh make the whole screen look like it's on like a, uh, like an like an old gaming like real like old PC gaming like uh very like, like Windows ninety five kind of yeah that type <laughs> of stuff like. Like oh, I might yeah. be I might be like this very wrong to say this like. But, like, what I think of when I imagine what it would be like like to play Daggerfall. Well, it, of... It's actually, it's not hard to, to find a couple YouTube channels that have people that are doing, you know, modern replays of those old games. Yeah. And, yeah, like, certain things kind of show their age. Uh, to, to your other point, though, um, there are certain games that have more of kind of like this, this kind of chibi, silly, uh, simplified anime style look. And those tend to age a lot better because, like, they were they never try to be ambitious about graphics or whatever. So, like, even mm -hmm. if you see them ten years later, you know, it's like Kirby's Adventure or some of the old Mario games. They're supposed to be like silly, balloony cartoon characters. So, like, you know, seeing that. Oh, you God, that sound is so annoying. I might just kill him. Where is he? Yeah. At? Is this a new one coming from a different direction, or is this the same guy just being annoying? I'll wait for now. Same dude. Hopefully, he didn't get knocked out, and he's gonna. Or somewhere and just have that noise repeat at infinitum, right? Um, 
So yeah, it's, it's like the, the balloony, silly, cartoony games tend to age a lot better than the ones that try to be like cutting edge, like super realistic, because five years later, you're like, wow, look at that face texture. Like, right. <laughs> it just doesn't quite age. Oh, I just realized that the crosshair kind of represents where I'm looking at. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Oh, you can hire that mercenary guy here if you have enough money. Oh, well, maybe. He's probably just going to knock down. It's going to be a loss of money. <laughs> oh, that's, that's true. Well, yeah, it, it depends if you really want someone along as a meat shield or not, right? I mean, they're a meat shield for like five seconds, then they're knocked out, and then... Yeah, if they scale with you and you're only level five, then it won't help too much. You know what? Oh, yeah, here's the guys being racist. Knock that guy's block off. Oh, he's. Oh, oh nice. I feel, like, I feel like Aladdin. <laughs> That's a weird example, but. Oh. Right, Nord, I thought you were, uh, uh oh are you stuck? Can you, can you not cast it? He, he fell over, but he somehow healed all himself. Oh, that's BS. I'd yeah. console that fool. Yeah, but, uh... No! Don't use attacks on me while I'm attacking you! Right. I just thought you were supposed to resist Frost, huh, you jerk? Good dodge, man. Uh, if, if they're, I guess they're protected, or they're, uh, what, what's it called, essential, so you probably can't, uh, yeah, nade them out. Oh. Unfortunately, that, that yeah, that, that's replacing bleed out, so you don't even get the pause of them, otherwise. Then... I'll figure out something. There we go. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's... Murder some dude right in front of him. Every night. Hey, is this the time, dude? <laughs> One of the best soldiers in the Stormcloak army. I like how this isn't impressive at all. <laughs> Just like, ah, oh, normal day. You know, they probably... It's probably possible to elicit weird comments from people because it's the same thing like when you absorb a dragon soul and people get all weird. Whoa, uh, audio it's just a matter there. of flow. <laughs> it's a matter of attaching either a certain keyword to you or certain things to make the, the barks change, right? Yeah. Ooh. Time to go to my favorite political side in Skyrim. Right. <laughs> I hope to beat the game in this series. I think that'll be pretty fun. Wow, it sound, sounds great in here. I didn't get a particular mod that I should have gotten that would have been interesting, but... Which one? Um, well, since it's... Um, maybe I'll keep it, maybe <laughs> I'll keep it for another season. Hmm. Or maybe I'll forget again. I probably should have had it, but I just completely forgot, even though I shouldn't have. He is very restless. <laughs> I'm in charge now. Oh, oops. Can't see you. Oh, what the fuck? What did I do? <laughs> what? Oh, what was that? Okay. Okay. I don't know what's interesting. Here we go. I'm trying to get some good moments to screenshot. Yeah, for your title screen for your video. There you go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna screenshot right now. But in the video itself, I will take screenshots of the render. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I'm just getting some possible good positions. Oh, 
All right, that's enough. <laughs> I don't know how I accidentally named. I tried to name it other earlier. That was weird. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see what code I put in? My my recording overlay was over it. Unfortunately, no. And uh, weird. Now the. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to talk over the uh, the upcoming super important dialogue no one's heard before, right? <laughs> yeah, nobody's ever heard the join the storm close dialogue. I hate her up to though. I think this is a speedrunning tactic to make dialogue go faster. <laughs> you can just talk to him right now. He doesn't have to be on his throne, does he? I know, no, he doesn't. I'm just having fun interrupting him. I, I edit the whole dialogue. Oh, there's a lot of dialogue. Is this all normal? I was say, that seems like more than usual. How did you become the Jarl of East March? How did you kill the High King at Helgen? They could say you shot the king to death. How goes the war? What does it mean to be tried? Oh, it's probably because I'm already the Dragonborn. I have more dialogue than normal. I usually join this guy before I'm the Dragonborn, so I'm not. Oh yeah, this ter this stupid quest. This is this is like this dumbest quest. You wanna join us? Go kill the frozen thing far away. I don't know if I even remember the, vaguely remember this. Yeah, it's just you just go. It's it's a fest quest about killing something. Right, right. That kind of goes back to our original thing about just the most silly generic. Uh, prove yourself. I I killed the dragon fool. What, is it? what the hell you want? I, love, I will say that. I love the dynamic <laughs> shadow over me just <laughs> glitching on a plate over here. Uh, I will say one other thing that actually gives it... It's like Link, you can like surf on your shield, right? Mm -hmm. One thing that, that actually makes me a little, a little hopeful um, is... Uh, seeing a bunch of other mods and seeing some new players that are interested in more than just the most generic of storylines where it's like, oh, there are dragons and they're all evil and you have to keep... <laughs> 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. God bless you, Skyrim Physics. <laughs> uh, you're something... Yeah, you're going to do that, that vibrates the wall thing, right? Yeah. Oh, plates. <laughs> there you go. Oh, uh, it's snowing. <laughs> there, there are playthroughs and quests and stuff that are more than just like, oh, it's a big, giant, evil lizard that sleeps on a mountain of treasure. Let's go kill it. You know, kind of. It, they, how many how many thousands of times have people heard that? Um, Seven. I know. Right. <laughs> 7,000, exactly. 7.0. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We, we uh, just made it 7,001. I think we get a reward. Right. 7.00 oh, oh, times 10 to the third. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's... I know part of it is a product of just... Kind, kind of, of age, right? Oh. If, if the first time you get some quests like <laughs> that, it makes sense if you're, like, you know, 10 and you're playing a game for the, for the first time. <laughs> You know, the first time you you pick up a, a a corpse and kind of you know whip it around your face to uh, throw to you know, to do the the physics glitch to get you through a doorway, uh, as one does, right? But uh, the uh, yeah, like, like you know, the first time you ever come across a quest like that, where you're the chosen one to go vanquish the evil giant, you know, menacing demon slash dragon slash what whatever, and it is big and evil, and you know you can't negotiate with it or whatever. That's it's. Uh, that's a really basic kind of, you know, like, 
eight, nine, ten year old little story, you know, that level of sophistication. Yeah, that's 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 fine. But you know, you do that for ten years, you're like, okay. But then you do it, you know, you're here for twenty years, you're here for thirty years, like you know, it's like, damn it, like <laughs> is, <what? laughs> is there something more? It's beyond this mortal plane. Perhaps in the reaches of space, right? Yeah. Like you only attain a speed of velocity and then oh except. <laughs> oh crap, I think you might be uh yeah, outside oh, <laughs> outside good, the world again. Get a good shot of this, it'll be a good thumbnail. <laughs> Love is a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire I fell into a ring of fire